This is the map of Romania. The 20th century started off with Romania only missing one chunk of territory that it has today, Transylvania. It belongs to Austria-Hungary at this time around. You know where this is going. And the only territories that it had, you know, that it had in this time, were Moldavia, not to be confused with Moldova, Wallachia, and Dobruja. During World War I, Romania was neutral, but by 1916, it actually made an alliance with the Allied powers. Okay, that's good. And it attacked in Austria Hungary, but failed to get back its most important territory of all time, Transylvania. But for some reason, it wasn't done yet. Romania also proceeded to attack Bulgaria just to, only to get their northern lands over. I can only see why it makes sense to attack Austria Hungary just to get back your, like I said, your most important territory of all time, Transylvania. But just. But attacking Bulgaria only to get their northern land sliver? What's the point of that? After World War One, Austria-Hungary was forced to donate Transylvania back to Romania and Japan. <laughs> and renamed itself to a much lamer name, Greater Romania. And nothing else happened for the entire interwar period. What a lame name, Greater Romania. At the start of World War II, Romania was neutral, but by November 23rd, 1940, Romania made alliance with the Axis powers. Not the Allied powers, this time. Yeah, this is bad. And Ion Antonescu is the reason why a bunch of Jews and Roma people were deported and executed. Alright, let's... <laughs> Okay, how many more times am I gonna have to mention Transylvania, Hungary, and Romania? Probably a lot. After World War II, Ion Antonescu was executed, Michael I was forced to abdicate, and that's what led to Romania becoming a communist republic and joining the Eastern Bloc. Okay, you also know where Romania being a part of the Eastern Bloc is going. And in 1955, Romania joined the Warsaw Pact. But, my god, did the people of Romania make the biggest mistake of their lives. Oh my god, I cannot believe they ever did this. But they elected Nicolae Ceausescu, president of Romania. You'll find out why. You'll find out why I truly hate Ceausescu and why you should also have the same opinion as I do on um, this guy. Yeah, you'll find out. You, you'll find out. You'll find out. Okay, I tried to look up what Ceausescu did or... Well, yeah, Ceausescu. I tried to look up what Ceausescu did to cause the debt of Romania in 1971, which was worth um, a whopping 1.2 billion dollars. I tried to look it up, but Google was pretty stupid and didn't give me the answers, and instead just talked about how bad the debt was. Um, how, it, um, how it upset Western creditors. Yeah, Google can be stupid sometimes. So you know what? Let's just leave it ambiguous. And um, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. To the, I don't know what happened to cause the debt to become more expensive by 1982 to costing from 1.2 billion dollars to 13 billion dollars to pay just so you don't keep drowning in debt. I don't know. It just it just was up. And then Ceausescu did the most unforgivable thing, thinking that it will combat the debt. Ceausescu told everybody to populate the country, and what did people do? Well. They populated the country, but the people who gave birth to these babies because of, you know, Ceausescu, they couldn't bring themselves to spend the rest of their lives, you know, um, um, uh, raising a child. So what did they do? They took them to orphanages, and the orphanages would be crowded by a, a bunch of hungry kids, and the people weren't working there just wanted wanted Ceausescu to pay the funds to feed these kids, just so that they can survive. But guess what? Ceausescu did not pay the funds. They just he just left them unpaid. See, this is the reason why nobody quite boils my skin as much as Ceausescu and Caillou. <laughs> no, but seriously, I also feel bad for the people who had to go through a lot of pain giving birth to their child only to make yet another mistake that's just as big as electing Ceausescu 
as president of the country and listening to his command of populating the country because all of that pain only to do yet another mistake which is taking them to orphanages only to become even hungrier than before because Ceausescu left the funds just to get fed in these orphanages unpaid. In 1989 Romania took the three biggest W's of all time. Not only democracy returning, not only Romanian revolution, but also Ceausescu getting executed. For some reason, even his wife Elena Ceausescu got executed. I don't know if she was any good, but tell me in the comments, because either way, it's still a free W for our name, for once. For once! But, in the 90s, the country's population started to decline. But either way, I st I'm still happy that Ceausescu got executed. In 2004, Romania joined NATO and then the EU in 2007, and for the rest of its time, it just prospered. Today, 11.3 million tourists, which is the same amount of tourists that visit Ireland each year, aka the country that I covered previously in these history videos, 11.3 million tourists visit the country every year, the economy is doing fine, the HDI is really really good, but here are some things that I want to debunk. One, Bram Stoker, an Irish dude, not a Romanian dude, but an Irish dude named Bram Stoker, wrote something about Dracula. Why Dracula, number two, is just the inspiration for Dracula. Number three, um, there is a, there's a castle in Romania that claims to be the castle that Dracula stepped in. But Vlad Dracula, being the inspiration for Dracula, never, never put his feet in the castle. Never. And plus, Vlad Dracula did other bad things to prove you know, that he is one of history's biggest menaces. Dude, stop revealing our secrets, that's what makes us lots of money! Next up is Macedonia, so stay tuned. By liking the video, so that you can see more of my content while you wait for the next history video, or better, by subscribing. Not only is it a benefit for me, but also a benefit for you as a viewer, so you don't miss out on every video that I make. Dovi Genia. Okay, look, I know that this sounds strange, I mean, sorry, it seems strange, not just sounds strange, that I interrupt an outro, I never did this, not even once when I'd include an outro in a video, but I don't like the outro song that I used for the outro of my previous history video, aka the island episode, I just didn't like it, so I... I, you know, I couldn't make up my mind whether I want Purple Nature or Midnight Rain to be my outro song, and I'm too lazy to release the one that I use for the island episode. So I hope that the one that I'm using for the Romania episode, and hopefully that I'll stick with without, you know, showing that I still can't make up my mind whether Purple Nature or Midnight Rain or the one from the island episode is going to be the definitive outro song for every video that I make, like this uh, video. Hopefully this one that I, that I, that I made is actually good. Okay, back to the outro.